need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pim and your I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber. Nobody gon' fuck on my clip. I need a 30 for 30. JoJo, last week when we taped, man, we didn't get an opportunity. Or oh, oh, that's on me. I, I just forgot uh, to mention Tiger Woods, man. You know, he was in a big uh, car accident. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, he's such a big star that, you know, pretty much every sports uh, program been covering it. I saw a lot of uh, golfers wear red and black in honor of him. That was cool. Uh, one dude uh, looked like he's an Asian golfer. So, like, he was about to cry. Um, they it. interviewed him. You saw that? Yeah. yeah I can't remember was, his name. Yeah, he was just thanking Tiger, bro, you know, on some real shit, you know. So, very influential, you know what I'm saying? So, thinking about that got me also thinking about Serena Williams, who we know uh, she just lost, and I want to say the semifinals uh, of a Grand Slam to Naomi, Naomi Osaka, uh, who doing her damn thing right now. She got it. She she, she going to be up there it. in the GOAT talk, talk one day. Uh, but, you know, it just got me thinking about these are two people, two black people, no matter mm -hmm. what Tiger says. Uh, what, co Cobbler Nation, whatever the hell you talking about. Uh, I shouldn't say no matter what Tiger says. He should have the right to identify however he wants to. Identify. He does. He does. Okay. So, his mama named Clay, I'm going to call him Clay, though. Uh, so, uh, black... <laughs> I'm wrong, America. I apologize. All right. But Serena and Tiger, bro, it's a lot of similarities between them to me in this case, in this, uh, from this standpoint. You got two black people who dominated two sports in which still to this day, mm -hmm. you don't just think of those sports and think about black people. You know what I'm saying? Uh and it seemed like those sports were very uh, intentionally exclusive, just like Major League Baseball, just like NBA used to be, NFL used to be, like boxing was after Jack Johnson. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't give a, a black person a chance to fight for a heavyweight title all the way up until Joe Lewis. Uh, but with golf and tennis, it seemed like they tried to keep that shit away from us. And then you got the Williams sisters come through that bitch with the beads on the braids and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Unapologetically black. You know, you got Serena Crip walking after a win and shit. You know what I'm saying? You got Tiger who wasn't unapologetic, unapologetically black, but he just was so damn dominant. I really don't think black folk gave a fuck. They just were happy to see uh, a guy that they can identify with Go out there and be so damn good, you know. And then you see him still kind of Serena seem like she's still trying to get another grand slam. Tiger mm -hmm. still chasing Jack Nicholas, who got 18 majors, Tiger got 15. So, like, damn, that's crazy. You got all these, you know, similarities. So, Jojo, question is this then. Who's had the bigger cultural impact overall? Mm -hmm. Serena or Tiger? Man, this this is tough. This is tough because as you stated, they, it was two sports that you didn't see people like us participate in. Um, what what Tiger did, man, and for for him to do what he did and come out with video games, you know. With his name, and one of y'all had that game in college. I think, uh, I think Ray had that game. I, I I had it on the Wii. Oh, you had it. Okay. Uh huh. Well, but there, I think this may have been. Was this like during college? Maybe so. But one of y'all were playing. Y'all were going hard on this. <laughs> uh, I know, and it almost sounded like some TJ would have, but um. Yeah, man, to and then Serena on, on the other side, man. You know, they it's like they came in and just hit the ground running. It was like when they came, you didn't just know them because they were new 
to this sport and like they they, they put people on notice early okay that, that singles doubles like like it didn't matter um i'm i'm going to say i'm gonna roll with serena part of it is because she was unapologetically black Actually, that that's probably a big part of it. <clears throat> and this, this, and I'm not saying this as in a black and white thing. I don't think anybody should be ashamed of their race. I don't care what race you are. You shouldn't be ashamed. You are who you are. Uh, but not only that, I think Serena actually has started males watching the sport. I, I I didn't know nothing about tennis, but when she came on the scene, it made me start watch her, and in turn, that's when I started watching the males. To be honest, like it it was because of her, mm-hmm. so I'm going Serena. Although I think Tiger, you know, Tiger had it to the point where probably I, like for me, my uncles and things like that, on Sunday morning when they saw me going to church. They over here on the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> Nanging and they tiger. So, but still, I'm rolling with Serena, man. <laughs> I would love to see that. I would love to see that. I got to roll with Tiger then, JoJo. Okay. Uh, for me personally, for me personally, okay. it's Serena. For everything you said, you know what I'm saying? All right, I know some folks will... Try to uh, you know uh, criticize her for having a white husband. You ain't fuck that shit. You love who fuck you. You love who, man. Come on now. But uh, she dated a lot of black guys. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I shouldn't say it like that. Make it seem like she uh <laughs> like like she Lori Harvey around this bitch. Right. But, but let me let me add something to that too. Uh, here's here, here's what I don't want. And I'm strictly speaking to my people, okay? We can't get mad when someone ends up with somebody that's outside of their race. If they have tried within their own race and it just didn't work. For whatever reason it may be, it just didn't work. Stop. Let's not. When when it's somebody that has tried within their race and then they end up with somebody outside of their race and it works, stop looking at them like they just... Oh, you just picking outside of your regime, try to make it work. They did. It just did. That's life. All right. I just wanted to add that. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And, and that goes with Tiger as well. You know, he was in an interracial marriage. You mm-hmm. know, I ain't gonna knock Tiger for that. What I what I had a problem with Tiger for is the fact the cobblinage and shit. Uh, right. And as I've gotten old, I've been thinking about that. Like, okay, he he is of mixed race. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But it just seemed like the way he said it is like he was trying to shun us. He had like, a negative connotation to it. Yeah, it, like it was like negative connotation. Like he didn't want to be a now. I know he cool with Michael Jordan. Seemed like D Wade had just posted something with him that like they were golfing, and I know D Wade fuck with us. Uh so I don't know. My I have mixed feelings on Tiger. Okay. Uh the man, but Tiger the golfer. Man, that motherfucker, when he was rolling, <laughs> when he was rolling, folks were acting like that man was up there with Mike Jordan when he was rolling. And we're talking about a fucking golfer. Folks were trying to compare his stature in sport mm-hmm. to Michael fucking Jeffrey Jordan. That's how big that man had got. Now, I don't know if uh, Serena not reaching those heights, and she has reached some heights. Absolutely. Every time I watch a game, Serena got a commercial coming on. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. And as she say in the commercial, she's reached the point where it's one. It's just her first name. You ain't got to say Serena Williams. Mm-mm. It's just Serena, and you know who the fuck motherfucker coming. She owns that name. So I don't know though if it's uh, sexism that uh tiger as a male was able to achieve even higher status than serena i can't say that tiger won more than her that good and won she got 20 plus grand slam you know 
Tiger got 15 majors. This girl got 20 23. plus 23 to be exact. Yeah, 23. This girl bad motherfucker, man. You understand me? But when Tiger was on his shit, or when he won that last Masters, folks oh. just went ape shit. Mm -hmm. Black folks were still going ape shit. And this is this, this is, is after the comment. This is after the combination shit. And he made the combination shit long, long yeah, yeah, yeah. when he was the shit. But he, this is even after you know he had cheated on his wife and it came out that everybody he was cheating with. <laughs> like Tiger got a preference. Okay, he clearly has a preference. Uh when you had some situation where folks were wanting him to speak out. And he was like, eh, you know, type of shit. I think he said something like when Donald Trump got uh, elected, like, you got to respect the office. You know what I'm saying? So it, Tiger don't be really going to bed for black folk. Even less so than Michael Jeffrey Jordan used to. That's Jordan what stepped up now. And maybe why they both friends, but... I think Jordan even kind of say he advised them to kind of, you know, stay away from that kind of stuff. Weird. And he <laughs> took that advice. He took that advice. <laughs> But it just the fact that this man was able to dominate a sport uh that really got a plantation mentality. Like, damn it, literally. They, they they number one tournament is called the fucking Masters. You know what I'm saying? It's at Augusta National in Georgia. Like these golf courses really segregated to the point where when you tell me your uncles out there golfing, my mind immediately go to. I wonder where are they going that lets them golf. Now I know we out there golfing that, but I'm just so used to it from growing yeah. up. Right. Like where I'm from in Ken, when Samuel Jackson filmed the movie A Time to Kill, they didn't want to let that man golf at the local golf uh course here. Now, now we got two. Mm -hmm. But back then we only had one. They didn't want that man to golf. Now I, I, they they end up letting him go because he got in his contract. Wherever he go, he got to golf. That's how much that motherfucker loves golf. You know what I'm saying? But we see now you got Steph Curry out here, big golfing advocate. I uh, know he just dropped some money on the HBCU program. Uh, mm -hmm. Where I used to live in this apartment complex called the Lynx. It's a golf course around the apartments. And there's a lot of black folks out there getting it in. And you remember you were trying to get us going to start doing it. Because I was paying for it, JoJo. I was paying seven hundred plus uh, month, dollars a month. I was like, we need to go out here. I need to swing knee clubs, and I never did. We got to rectify that. If I ever get in the hood again, that got a golf course, we going out there. I'm gonna be a little sauced up. <laughs> no, I might not need to get sauced up. I'm gonna be a competitor. I know you motherfuckers. Oh, I yeah. know you motherfuckers. It's all about winning. Yeah, yeah. No, right, I'm gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to drink some coffee so I can be very focused on what I'm doing out there. Goddamn. But. I'm gonna roll with Tiger, but I can't I can't take for granted what Serena didn't did. Serena, that girl inspired Osaka. Osaka. She have Osaka like you that shit. Then the other girl, it was another black girl, Stevens. Uh, Nate Stevens. Sloan uh, Stevens. I know you're talking about. I might be wrong. But there's another black girl on the come up, you know what I'm saying? Of course, Serena fuck one. Some of the white girls, they uh just like but Tiger. Tiger got these white boy like Roy McElroy and all those uh Spieth. They say that's the guy. Shit, Tiger made Phil try to start getting right on the weightlifting and shit. True. Remember, Phil used to be, you know, a little chubby there. Yeah. Tiger Woods was that motherfucker lifting weights and shit, you know. So I don't know. Driver. I got I got huh? I say his driver. That shit was stupid. Yeah, it was stupid. It, when when a, when a part four become a part three to you? <laughs> but I got to look into Tiger. Like I said, I got mixed feelings about, about Tiger. I'm hope I'm glad Cub, you know what I'm saying, is, is recovering. Definitely. Hopefully. He did recover. Yeah, hopefully has, as he ages, Joe, hopefully he does what Mike Jordan is doing. So like Mike Jordan is more comfortable in his own skin now and being open about uh some things, you know what I'm saying, using his money yeah, yeah. in a good way, building the clinic. So hopefully that will happen with Tiger, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Uh and, and Serena already on that. So yeah. shout out to both of them.
My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.